What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Big Homie Biz. Let's start this off with a triple hitter from Brandon, yeah? At some point, physics needs to come in and assert its dominance. We can't just keep defying it like this. Welcome back to another episode of This Week in Blade, a show where we talk about everything dope that's happening in rollerblading. If you're new here and you like what you see, you should hit that subscribe button so that you can get the updates first. It'd be tight if you gave a like and shared this with the homies because everyone deserves a bit of twib in their lives. Trust me. Let's start this off as always with products. The best UHMW company in the world just dropped an NBD this week. They dropped a new set of flat wheels. Bro, what are you talking about? That is not an NBD. You didn't let me finish. I mean, there was an obvious pause. Moonshine dropped the same wheel for both rollerblades and quad skates. Ain't nobody doing that. Look, I know Somatics dropped a quad wheel for Monterey, okay? But that's different. Jeez. Let Moonshine have this one. Moonshine just dropped the Twisted Team Wheel. That's coming in both a 5592A flat wheel for inline and a 53101A for quad skates. And they put out an edit to show you what's capable on both. It starts off with K hitting a fat outsole and ends with germ riding flat. Which if you remember 5050 germ, you would know how hilarious this is. It also has their newest rider, Ali, killing it on the quad setup. The whole concept is just like dope, you know? It's a twin wheel with the same graphic on both to symbolize our intertwined communities. You see how Moonshine is, is bridging the gap? Why can't we all be like this? Cause some of y'all are lame and afraid of change. Anyways, this is sick. And if you want to win a pair of the quad wheels, Ali is giving away two full sets on her page. All you have to do is follow her and Moonshine, which you already are because you're awesome. You're, you're the TWIB community. You already follow the greats. You gotta like and comment on this post, the one playing right here, and you're in there like swimwear. Look, the weather's getting hotter, so that line was appropriate. Make sure you check that out and Moonshine's website to grab a pair. Big Ricardo Lino linked up with Yo-Yo Skates. I didn't know that was a thing either. Those two linked up to drop the sexiest looking big wheel frame to date. Look at this fucking thing, man. It's gorgeous. The Yo-Yo Lino 90 is a 90 by four flat frame, aluminum, and it's just fly as hell. If you wanna get your feet on them, they have ready to roll setups on their website. So make sure you tap into that. That link is gonna be in the description. Literally as I was recording this week's episode, Rain dropped a new liner. It's been real quiet over there at the Rain camp and I thought I lost them again. That was tough, man. But everything is okay. I'm a survivor, honestly. The Rain Retro Liner is really trying to capture the old heads in the market with this one. They wrote on the gram, the Retro Liner takes you back to those golden years when liners didn't just hide inside the shell. Back when they stood out tall and bold. They're basically saying they're not V-cut. That's it. I cover my cuffs now, so this is pointless to me. But Rain really do be dropping amazing liners. So the added support that this height is gonna bring has gotta be dope. And the way that rubber heel locks you into your skate is crazy. They're gonna have sizes from six to 13, also seven and a half, nine and a half, and 10 and a half. So if you fit in that range, make it happen. All right, that's gonna do it for products this week. Let's get into videos, cause you need something to watch. And I wanna watch it with you. You know what? Let's do the end of the week first, yeah? Switch it up a little bit. Butter TV linked up with Cameron Talbot to collect evidence to prove to Tom and them why Cam is ready for his first pro skate. Sometimes, you know, you need to put it all out there. Put all on the line. And by the line, I mean a seven minute edit in transit between San Francisco, New York, Miami, and LA. I mean, bit aside, bruh's been moving. I need this kind of travel in my life. I need to leave my day job. Anyways, this edit is amazing. You know when JP's on the camera, that shit gon' bang for real. The tall boys are all along the Tobacco Road in North Carolina with their newest tour edit. And that shit's dope. It's one of those projects where we really don't know what's gonna happen and then it happens. 
and you're just glad you were there for the ride. You got skating from Dave Gunn, Brennan Brown, Chris Crowder. Damn, y'all got Chris outside? Hell yeah. Oh, and more. It's a really fun watch. Makes you wanna go on tour with the boys, doesn't it? I wanna do that, like for real. BDC, what we doing this summer? We need to ride. We ride at dawn. In the darkest depths of my European hometown, the Grindhoven boys dropped Dark Matter 2. A night edit skating some really fun looking spots in Eindhoven. But by the way that city is set up, you're really gonna need to be skating flat to get to them. Old ass roads, older than my whole country had ass roads. You got skating from Cody Lantman, and I don't know how you even got clips of him at night because all he wears is black. How do you see him? Heron Williams, the homie. Kevin Brinkman, the big homie and more. It's a really fun piece, make sure you tap in. Look, first thing you need to know about Alex Sams is he's gonna find a spot, okay? He will make something happen. You're not gonna waste a skate day when you're skating with bruh. And second, Alex Sams gives hope to all of the glasses skating rollerbladers everywhere. For everyone whose spectacles has fallen off trying to spin out of a trick, this is our savior right now. Alex Sams has a really dope edit out for Rollerblade called Seattle's Finest. Is Sam on the team? He better be, at least after this one. I mean, look, you fired the dude whose pro skate everyone on the team is riding, so I know you got the room. Look, I know that was a low blow, but that just happened, and this is a new show. Anyways, this edit is amazing. Let me not take away from what Alex is doing, all right? You over here killing shit. My mans is destroying Seattle, super creative, jumping off boats and shit, how do you even find things like this, big bro? Like where, where are you hanging out that you just know where the boat drops are? Make sure you watch this, it's way too good and I'm underselling it. All right, that's gonna do it for videos. There's definitely some heat in these streets. You know, I would love it if you and me can get social. I feel like that would be amazing. Let's start this section off with my fellow rollerblading content creator, iRollerBoot, with a smooth true mix. Look, I just, I just need Rob to have a boot home, okay? I've been plugging his shit on this show so many times for him not to have a boot sponsor. He had a wheel sponsor, that died, so let's get him a boot sponsor. Look how good this guy is. Look, it's amazing and majestic and Aussie and shit. Rob has some clips skating his standard setup at his local Wednesday night skate. And have you seen a reel of Rob's that you instantly didn't fall in love with? I've been scrolling for hours and I can't find one that I hate. This guy only drops heat. Make sure you tap in and somebody pick this guy up before I have to at Winter Clash with a big hug because I miss him and the gang so much. Neil's drop part clips. One clip per slide in his carousel. And every one is better than the last one. I want all of you to go on there and just vote for your favorite. Blow that reel up, okay? Just like, just post numbers and don't tell him what's happening. Just be like, two, three, you know what I'm saying? Let's run that shit up because Niels is definitely S tier skating at this point. Bro's got back backslide switch ups like no one's business. How do you just have that? I just learned backslides and I had to go all the way to Europe to do it. Real quick, Cindy, can you show us what it's like when at first you don't succeed, you dust yourself off and lace in front of everyone? The eight set store boys linked up to drop a banger on the gram this week. I've been really trying to figure out what to say about this. I left my thesaurus at home, so like writing new adjectives wasn't really a thing for me. It's just really fucking dope. It's such a good watch. Everyone that links up with 8th set is just instantly better. I wonder if I go and hang out with them, will I get better? I think I will. We should put that to the test. Phil Moss has some really cool park clips on the gram that starts off with the coolest true soul I've seen in a minute. Mine included, and I have a really good one in the new video up to something by Jeremy Soderbergh. Plug. 
but it's just overall a smooth solo edit. It makes me want to go skate and try Zero Fish Brains. Am I crazy? We're gonna wrap this section up with one from David Sizemore that really shouldn't make sense. If you thought the flips from last episode was wild, just wait until you see this. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this week in Blade. Make sure you like this video and comment your favorite news below. Thank you so, so much for watching this week's episode. Make sure you're following my link tree so that you can get all the twib updates, skating, and a bunch of other crap. As always, everything I talked about in this episode is gonna be in the description of this video. So if you wanna stay in the loop, hit the description, okay? It's, it's all right there for you. My Patreon and public Discord are also in the description. So if you wanna support your boy and keep these lights on, you can do it there. For this week's Ender, here's a fly one from Rob Scallion to remind us all to have a good day. And while we're at it, make sure you have a great week, drink your water, and skate, all right? I'll see y'all next time. Bro, Rain just dropped the line. Yeah, you see this shit? Where, they've been nowhere, and now all of a sudden they dropping the liner? Man, I'm supposed to be recording a show, but we gotta drop that in. I know I just got social, but we need to drop this in. Let's let's run it back and make this happen, okay? Let's do it. Come on. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go.